Hey everyone, I'm here to talk relationships. It's no secret that I've tried just about every dating app that there is because I've been dating for about four years online since moving to New York City. Recently, one of my friends asked me what my opinion is of the best dating app there is out there. And I really had to think about it for a second because all of them kind of have their pluses and minuses, their different interfaces. But the more I thought about it and I thought about each app kind of as a whole entity, I really realized that the best app out there right now is Bumble. And the reason for that is kind of multifaceted. So first of all, if you're not dating right now if you're happily in a relationship or if you're happily single. There are still options for you with Bumble, Bumble BFF and Bumble Biz. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. If you don't know about the CEO, you should. Whitney Wolf Hurd, she is the founder and CEO of Bumble and she actually originally started with Tinder but she left Tinder because she experienced misogynistic behavior behind the scenes. Her mission behind creating Bumble was twofold. On the corporate side, it was creating a business that was inclusive. And it was also to create an app that really empowered women. So the interface of the app is women first. And I mean that literally. With Bumble Date in particular, and also Bumble Biz, the women are the initiators. So when you match with somebody on Bumble, the woman is the person who has to make the first move. She does so within 24 hours or the match goes away. With BFF, because it is same-sex platonic relationships, either person can initiate. So now I want us to explore the interface. So if we take a look, we see that there's Bumble Date, Bumble BFF, and Bumble Biz, all pretty accessible. So we're gonna start with Bumble Date. So first we're gonna notice the preferences that we can set. So we can do men, women, everybody. We can set our age, we can set how far away they are. And there's also this awesome thing of move making impact. So every time you initiate a conversation, there's money that is sent from Bumble to one of three objectives, economic development, human rights, and public policy. And at any point you can change these and you can also see what direct causes they're going to. You also have this fun feature of setting two advanced filters. So you could do height, you could do star sign, you could do education, do they drink, do they want kids someday? So you can really narrow down your focus for a Bumble date. Then the next feature is Bumble BFF. So again, we have separate preferences for this one. We can do age, we can do distance. There's still that move making impact setting. And there are also some advanced settings for BFF. So you can do, do they drink? Do they smoke? Are they active? So you can start to filter down people who have similar interests to you, which is really nice. And then third, is Bumble Biz. So again, with our preferences here, we can now say, do we want to do just women only or do we want to do everybody? How far away are they? And again, there's that move making impact. And we can set a few advanced features on Biz. So what is their industry? How much experience do they have? And what is their education? And for each one, you can update your profile individually. So you can do photos, you can do a brief bio about yourself, and you can do your interests and answer three questions so people can get to know you a little bit more. And then all of your messages will be located in one place. So what would make us want to use Bumble Date, Bumble BFF, and Bumble Biz? One of my favorite experiences is on Bumble Date about three weeks ago, I met up with a guy in London when I was there for vacation. It was just a way to broaden my horizons. What does dating look like in another place? What is that relationship like? What are the expectations like? Dating is pretty self-explanatory with all the different dating apps that are out there. But with BFF and Biz, I think the really nice thing to think about is that it's opening up your opportunities for making connections with people that you wouldn't know otherwise or wouldn't have access to otherwise. So with friends, I know for myself as an adult living in New York City, it can be really hard to meet new people. Now I have my group of friends here, my really close, tight, best friends. But there are things that some of my best friends aren't interested in that I am interested in, like rock climbing or I don't have friends that are also dog moms. Just today with Bumble BFF, I met somebody who's from my home state. So it's an opportunity to find other friends that fit the different niche areas of your life. And then with Biz, I think the really nice thing about Bumble Biz, you can really make it whatever you want. If you're new in an industry and you wanna get some advice, you could be in London and you could be asking somebody who's in the same industry as you what that industry looks like there. What are the needs that aren't being met there? So it's a way for you to broaden your network in every way of your life, whether it be business, friendship, or romantic. So I challenge you to try it. What do you got to lose?